and then now your candidate Ekufuado. Hey, that was the last time. That was the last time. Yeah, uh, 2016. Uh, 2016 must have been December 3rd or thereabouts. Whoa, whoa. And then we will count in a Oh, man. Hey, Nyamiado. Open. I feel like I'm going to be a bad guy. I said, I'm probably won't cry. Then cry. Yes, when you're dancing, you're going to say, what do you want to do? You're going to say, what do you want Na your tone saffron when you are in one BP and yes, so yeah, that's it. Upon you, Sonia D can can no Tama Obaha the last time na oh pray, Sir Obeba be a man penny. And ne, Yamia don't want some baby, you know, yeah, man penny. Er, Minnie can be said, I tell saying, What's the feeling like? I achieve you dreams, I'll be digging anymore. At the same, strong. Well, first of all. Point of correction, I'm paying twice over. And Paul, round two. <laughs> and what I said, I can say, we're round two. Uh, we're round two. Round two. I'm in my first, and I'm round one, and I'm in pray. I'm praying, I'm going to fire my doom at round two so I can warm up me. Now, you might be a day. I will be up at Circle, and I saw, like I said, money is easy. I know what I'm saying, I'm going to I be a German on Tiasi, and now Peso can cry a day. Then so so no. Now, sir, the coupons I shall have more quite so woke with you, thirty million Ghanaians. Here you say woke, better being a case so now, Gemma. Two poor man, I can say, Mammy. Do not so more be here. What did you maybe brace you any so? Um, you fear, see, I mean, you say, yeah, yeah, we, no, mom, uh, Obaka say, oh, she, no, my, this, you, when you, so, no, baby, I'll be doing round two, you, more, at the same, bosh, a drama, substantially, me, if it's a substantially, uh, cool, any, my, fine, uh, major commitments, and so, any, by, and also, see, your commitments, sir. Major ones restoring our social infrastructure, our educational system, our health system, coming to grips with our infrastructure, expanding the economy so that there are more opportunities. Sane Menyinano were the key commitments here. Now, I think that when you look back today, even despite the COVID intervention, COVID interventions, we so we are here for many COVID came as a disruptive factor. But between 2017 and the COVID in 2020, there are significant advances that the economy of the country had made. And even now, we're seeing that those advances have given us a basis recovering from the COVID pandemic. You know, you keep hearing about the economies of the world that still uh, obtained a positive growth rate, even during Ghana Kahopa. Say, near my two year this year, the sequence of Sierra Vian, and then I'm a boy. So, yes, um, um, uh, how, how can you ever be satisfied? And you might hear, what is this? Well, how can you ever say so? We are satisfied. What do you mean, Casa? The only thing I can say, you're encouraged by the rate of progress. And the only thing I can say, I'm encouraged by the rate. And going around the country, which is the, one of the main things I'm missing, the new society, to keep in touch with the developments around the country, to see with my own eyes, near my course. Not always, but every now and then you get an advice. Information uh, it doesn't tally with what's going on on the ground. me going around this today is the beginning of the 16th region. Uh, yes, Makum in the course of the last six months, I think 15 regions are only now. Brother, I'm in a central regional tour, and then I'm in Shasia. Obvious reasons it usually has to be either the first or the last. <laughs> we are into, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably uh, encouraged. 
by the program of government mm -hmm. that way, mm -hmm. by the results of that program. Mm -hmm. But you're seeing it. The, uh, people are questioning the statement we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The work I'm doing is bearing fruit in the prison. But it's being seen all over the country. If you take whatever indices, you see, 500, nearly 500,000 more people are in secondary school now than they were when mm -hmm. they came as well. As a result of the government's free SHS policy, we now have a national health insurance scheme that is working where the NHIS card will produce so when you go to hospital, you're given treatment. It mm -hmm. works. It's not like before where Rebecca just went in for a car to take a physical brand. That is no longer the situation in the country today. So you look at that. You look also at this big, big vex question now. The quality of our roads. Infrastructure development. Said that is the meaning of unprecedented. 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 Yes. <laughs> Within the, my first year, I buy a from Accra up to Paga, back to uh, through Hamile, up to Aflao, uh, up to Elu. The first thing on the mouth of virtually Every chief, every opinion leader, a one quiet So it isn't true that we have seen, and in fact, first four years here by year, the amount of road coverage which has taken place since we came expanded the road network considerably. Hmm. And it's obvious, you even here in Accra, you can see the roadworks that are going on. You're seeing it all over the country. It is by no means enough. Mm. We still have much more to do to give our country the modern road network which uh, it deserves. But, and for me, that is the encouraging aspect of my period as a president. Serious efforts are being made to tackle some of the fundamental problems of our country. They will not all be resolved, even in my time. My, my successor, but very serious efforts are being made to come to grips with these problems. And that, for me, is the encouraging aspect of my period in office. President Nana Ado Dankwa Ekufu Ado and Amotese Yenene Chichin Komo Ewe Yejume Diene Sukokroko Peace 104.3 Na Anope Waye Adom Enya Yenhua Daje Ababi Piha Na Opache Se Na Pro Bono Wako 15 Regions Efe Nyamiadom Wako Akudu 16th Region Ewe Greater Accra Na Anope Wababi Duhei One of the things Awa Kane Se Akwain I'm paying contractor for so soon. In the area, now. Only be so careful. I'm so sad. I'm just scared. Ma, so I'm scared. I will be here. So the bear is quite. I'm scared. I'm not for. Yeah. Scared of some mood, do Papa. And putting it together, being able to be. But I believe, I believe, says any man, you know, at the end of the day, no. Bottom line, now here. Yeah. That the bottom line tells you that a significant amount of work has been done on rehabilitating and expanding our road network. Yes, in the process, unfortunately, not all the contractors are being paid on time. But I think we're making it the effort to make sure that at the end of the day, everybody gets, gets, gets what is due to them. And we'll continue to do that. It's not, it cannot be in the interest of government. Say, uh, private sector people will finance the public sector development. That should not be the case. If anything else at all, it should be the other way around. The other way around. And the public sector is the one that is helping to finance the growth of the private private sector. Mm. But um, uh, it's not the best. And where is that? It's not the best. We're improving.
we're improving. In contractor for sure, but say you only did it. Only did it. I can be as only did it. And and in the past, regular payments have been made to make sure that uh, they are in a decent place. Mm -hmm. We have to do it. Mr. President, talking about COVID and senior say we are here for any nursing in Romania, the Ghana not being uh, you know accepted from this. Now, Ebiswaka say one, we were ill prepared. Uh, two, it, it knocked us out because you see, don't blame COVID, blame or poor management of the economy. What's your say? I'm amazed. 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 Even the simple arithmetic, me buy mm -hmm. 2017, the last year of the predecessor government, rate of growth of the economy, 3.4%, the lowest in over 20 years. Our first year, rate of growth was over 8%. Second year, 7%. Third year, 6 point something on the average. The growth rate of the economy between 2017 and 2020, the onset of COVID, was 7%. A 7% eco economic growth made us one of the fastest growing economies in the world, not just on the African continent, but across the globe. Mm -hmm. All the what the economists, one the Binum, find it uh, uh, laughable, so-called macroeconomic data. All of them have pointed in a much more positive manner, the bias in what they were there before. Inflation came down from nearly 16% to, to single digit, and it has now just crept over 10%. Yes. Interest rates, 32 odd percent. Today, they're hovering around up 20%. Peace with every FM. effort being made to bring them further down. Peace FM. Reserves. You, uh, you had trade deficits before I came. Today, we have trade surpluses. Reserves. Two and a half, barely three months worth of reserves. Five and a half, nearly six months of reserves today. So if you compare this data, I'm not saying that the data in itself tells everything, but the data tells quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And you compare this to those who are making the accusation of poor management there. Now, once again, uh, English language is not be a meme in the year. Hey, now, I want to rough. I want to rough. Well, well, it's not the end I'm surprised to hear some of these accusations, especially from the lips from which they come. Say, Miss Man, it is uh, one year we're responsible for the 3.4% rate of growth and for the inflationary pressures that were so evident in Ghana at the time. So one in Anka, one in Wabemu, my COVID-19, but two years. And I can say that by this time, they're not Ghana, no. That we have buried the country. We would have been buried by now. In R.I.P. Ghana, rest in peace. It would have been broken by now. So I know, I don't think that we should, we should engage the Ghanaian people in this kind of unnecessary tendentious politics of making these statements um mr president look about growth improvement in growth improvement and in, in the economy um numbers figures uh interest rates macro micro inflation yeah dear um on paper gdp so do the people feel these things do you get so. that I when you have feedback? I believe so. I believe that is it. Because in the, in the, every, in the end, also, mm -hmm. statistics, you know, they translate into things. I mean, take, for instance, the issue of inflation. Yes. So, it's now 100 cities. Mm -hmm. Now, the rate of inflation, a year, 15%. Uh, that says that the 100 cities in the crowd, which I can say 15% of that, a year, 15 uh, cities. You know. You have to take it out to get the net value of the money that you have. Mm -hmm. Inflation about ten percent. 
What does it mean? It means you're talking about 10%, 10%, 10 CDs, not 15. Not 15. These are all, I mean, they don't come as if they say, IABB, boom, nebabi, shokutu, boom. But incrementally, you look at all these figures, who say, yes, some improvement in living standards is taking place. I cannot explain the 500,000 vote difference between me and my main opponent, other than it being an endorsement by the people of Ghana of my stewardship in December, four years after uh, I took office. I went to the polls and <laughs> the, the people of Ghana returned me with a margin of over 500,000 over my predecessor. That has to be an endorsement of the policies that we have been putting in. Doesn't that make you complacent too? Does not make me complacent. I'm not sure say Ghana for, you know. Say Ghana for, you know. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 I'm not No, on the contrary. Hmm. For me, I have a commitment. Commitment given to me by the mandate. Say, I'm going to be a person between 2017, 2021. 2021, 2025, I worked flat out to address the problems of this country. I can never have a moment of complacency. That is not in my book. And I think those of you who know me a little bit will know, say, that's not the way I look at life. Uh, the, the complacency, the Mbamukra. Mbamukra. Mr. President, 77 and counting, what drives you? I think it's it's an interest in the development of Ghana from the from a long long time ago. The Madre said, the war intellectually, physically, spiritually. I will put it at the service of this country to see how what contribution I can make. Mm -hmm. You know, contribution. Yeah, yeah. You will be out here way. It's a contribution you're making to the growth of our country. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a, a tendency to think that it's only in politics that you make it. It's not the truth. All of us, in our different spheres of life, we are all making contributions to the development of our country. And I have felt that the way, the most effective way I can also help was through political engagement. So that has been the drive, the drive about Ghana, its, its present and its future. And it continues to be my 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 mantra, what to do to bring about the improvement of the conditions of life of our people, what to do about improving the standing of our nation in the committee of nations. These are the things that drive me and they continue to drive me and they will until the time comes. The Constitution is also said 7th January 2025. Uh -huh. But I am I am I have a big passion mm. about Ghana, I have a big passion about the future of our country. Physical, uh, yeah. What are we talking about? We're talking about the country, the first in Africa, in black Africa to be free, the most uh, enduring democracy on the continent today after decades of turmoil. Um, there's so many things about the the, the the Ghanaian people and their development uh, mm -hmm. which for me are sources of pride and and, and provide the, the inspiration for trying to help and to move uh, the people of this country forward. Ghanaians are very praiseworthy people and serving them is, is, is an honor as far as I'm concerned and and the privilege. Um, and, 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 and in some ways, I saw young people said they shy and not be busy. Meaning, all the difficulties, negativities. So, be sorry, I'm not planning to move. I could try radio. So, he did do attempts all day, all night. I was so 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 me be busy because we could keep you see hey. And I won't be for a man. I mean, all of these things, but they don't, they don't, they don't disturb me, and they don't derail me. They don't uh, divert me from from the project ahead of me. 
what about 7 January 2025? Inti mamin fe nun pyo man sana ya So 7 January 2025, upe umpeo, se upe te te mkwa ye mfama. Wa waji ya tu mse, eko was ni eko suno, enye papa, te te mizim. Omo mpe se umdi wadie, upati mu, wabedi e chile Dr. Baumia. Um, ya tini din, ura lanche manting, on your nose start to pray nye ne. Ya ti ura bwa che jaku din, ya te... Uh, Uro usui free ya kutu a Greek minister. I'm paying you for baby. Yati ti omuding. Se sa se muti ti a eti saying. How do you take it? Are they focused on the work you've given them, or are they busy trying to succeed? At the moment, I, I have not. I have no evidence that uh, for ambition are interfering with the work that they're doing. I have no evidence. On the contrary, mm. I continue to see. In the cabinet, in the government, people who are working strongly for the, I mean, Ushafia Kutul with the agricultural projects in the Chamateng and the industrial agenda, something that is being worked on very, very hard. Every day, wherever I go, CISA, events, one. One D one F uh, projects see coming into being. Mm. One D one of uh, F uh, policy and co for the year. As we say, oh, as usual, uh, King promise. Ah, uti ni na. Uti ni ya. Uti ni ya. Se bin bin na vubi ne. Eka sa sa bin. Se koi bi aso. E se bin bin. Ne nu ni na so so. Every day the country is seeing that yes these. These commitments to build the factories in the various areas of Ghana, they're, it's, they're commitments that are bearing fruit. Um, Baumia is the, man, the chairman of the economic management team, which is the position of the vice president. We see the big efforts that uh, the economy is making uh, against very difficult circumstances to move. So all of them, and uh, uh, and uh, as I say, I have not seen because if that was to happen, I would have to act. Assuming, sir, will be ambition in tea. And no lie to say, what we put fully at two J. And about the side, obviously, the president cannot be unconcerned. I mean, I guess I've been in this position before. Yeah. Yes, I was a minister in President Kufuor's government, foreign minister at the time when the uh, the the the. The bell sounded for the race for his successor. I had to comport myself accordingly. As far as I'm concerned, those who are there in that situation today are also up There's two issues mm -hmm. for me that matter. One, that we should have a transparent, credible, acceptable process for choosing our next flag bearer. The same as I was, I came out of such a process. It should be my responsibility to make sure that the process for choosing the next leader of the NPP is equally free of doubt or machination or manipulation. That's 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 for me absolutely key. And I'm hoping that a level playing field that allows us to elect our next presidential candidate will also bring us a candidate who can unite our party. Because competition there, Kwebi has Oh, yes. It's inevitable. It will bring some divisions in the party. But we are the ruling party. Mm -hmm. So there's a responsibility on us to conduct ourselves in such a way that because cracks in the MPP, cracks in the MPP, they're serious can have a reflection on the state. Yeah. We are the ruling party. And if our base, which is our party, is fractured, that fracture can be translated into a fracture in the state. Nobody wants that. And we in the MPP should be the last to accept such a reality in the country. What so, would you do to influence the process? Making sure that the, the process is fair making sure with the party leadership that a fair, transparent, credible process is put in place that will enable, because at the end of the day, it is the party that makes the choice. I was the choice of the party. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the choice of any cabal or group of people. Yes, there were people who supported me mm -hmm. right from the beginning. 
But at the end of the day, it is the ordinary party people, the polling stations and the constituencies in the regions who actually cast a vote, uh, go, a vote free of any sort of uh, irregularity to elect me. I want the same thing for my predecessor, that he should also, he or she, people will accuse me of me, <laughs> uh, uh, will also be. But as, as I say, mm. that is important. And secondly, that we get a personality who's capable of unifying the various groupings in the party and being able to present a, a formidable front for the 2024 election. You've worked, be, yeah, you've worked with all of them. Deep down, I'm sure you have your favorite. I'll, I'll have a vote. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like in the national election I have a vote mm -hmm. so in the uh, your friend is a uh, primaries of the MPP by our constitution I have a vote in two by will be paid I can't be a chrono the secrecy of the ballot I can't be a chrono I can't be a vote President Nana Adudankwa Ekufu Ado Mampenyi Republic of Ghana. Peace FM. And I want to say, you know, at the Komo Anape Efa ni nyuma awudi na pro boho ne ni a ekeke kahunina na yanko bisa no se na pro bono. So far, 15 regions have been covered. 16th region, a greater Accra, and then Ufia Sia, Henry Quarter, a greater Accra regional minister, meaning said, with Dimu Aquatine Papa. A man penny, Yempie Baby, I want Henry Quarter, I saw my sister, me bombard, and I'm a camphone, a bombard. Henry Quarter, I think I'm so beer who said, I dream Papa, and I'm a little bit. I was doing a good job in the country. I saw now own our money, yes, I ain't in Uns Roshin. Eh, I assume what you cry. No, 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 Choice and preference in that. A Juma or Yenusu says, Obia who saw Bass or Babby Edgma, or Basset or Babby Diagro, and now Babby Petinem and Nemoya will be see. I did the relocation of the people, the let's make a crowd work, an agenda, making meaningful of our commitment to send a clean across city and then the city. Whose public services are in order? So I mean, you know, they are they are the work of a very committed regional minister. Let me depart to say, "Nye mikuwa ni mehunu sa Ghana for no do do all one can one year one can have do do all nehu sa ba peyi ya ba." Let me kiss you. Say, "Wa meju ma papa." I can never see a bone to do all. Oh, hello. Oh, peyi grab say. You must say, I saw what you mean. What you mean, yeah, yeah. I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't get it. Henry, you know what I'm talking about? It's not just when you get it, you're doing well. Oh, he's doing well. Great. He's doing a good job. Great. Let's move on, Mr. President. Um, one of your accusations about if I were to get it, is that we abandon projects. We can social infrastructure. We can't get it, but we can't get it, but we can't get it. Uh, yes, we abandon project. We abandon we we abandon we. We predecessor, uh, in Yuma Wabaye, a bureau, uh, Oba, we gem, Yenim said, minority caucus, a woman, Rashebe gem, a call, uh, a probo, or Marco Pier Volta region, a plow, or Henny Craig, I say, school e blocks or Musi or Ho, my gem, and I, and yes, and here one accusation abandoning project, uh, on my penny, Mahama Crapache, say, Commander Sugar Factory, a idea, we share that. Pa say twenty four million dollars via Indian government say Mumma Major one quanquaji a kahu na commander a jumano a tria sign um a biswaka say road networks upper west region into accusations in the air or hall of any who so must say say a juma yadigana sika a yen also when ye just me kind of even if you are out here maybe say as if because 
the reality, the facts on the ground tell you a completely different story. Yelfa Commander, okay. just to begin with. I say Mikoka says you, uh, you can't build a house by starting at the roof <laughs> without building a foundation because yeah. the house will collapse. That is exactly what, what has happened as far as Commander is concerned. But let me um, just state some simple um, facts about Commander. Mm -hmm. When the factory was built, yeah. immediately after the factory was built, it shut down. This was in the NDC time. May 2016. May 2016. Immediately after its commissioning, on the 30th of May 2016, the factory was shut down because of lack of access to raw materials. And soon after, a transaction advisor who was appointed by, by the, the then NDC government, I think it was Price Waterhouse, mm. was it Price Waterhouse? It was Price Waterhouse, came to try and assist the government to sell 70% of the shares in the, in the factory. 70%? 70% of the shares in the factory. And this is, all this is happening in the Mahama era. It's not my time. Up and down, up and down, no, no progress. Why? Because the fundamental issue which has dogged the Commander Sugar Factory, the absence of plan for supply of raw material, makes it a very, very difficult project. $24 million, he says, was there for you to pick from the Indian government. You did it. But why? I didn't see no one quite off as his government. The money, the money was there before he left office. Why couldn't he access it? The money was there before he left office. But in fact, it was going to be difficult to access the money because the factory itself that he had built had collapsed. Are you going to go and tell people you want some more money when the thing that you built is in itself on the back foot? Open your case, it had collapsed. I mean, it has here. Shut down of a factory. What do you, what, how do you understand it? Turn on some of your maintenance. Immediately after you built the factory. Well, um, then you, you bring it down for. It was shut down for lack of raw materials to feed the factory. And this is the point that I've been making that the planning, the whole planning of the Commander Sugar Factory was wrong from the get-go. What we have been trying to do, what Alan Chamating has been trying to do, and it's a very valiant effort that he has made, is to try now to reconfigure the, uh, the investment in such a way that he has now access also to raw material supplies for the factory. I think the work that has been done between him, the, the, the transaction advisor, uh, and the, 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 the board of, of the company is now in a situation whereby, God willing, by February next year, we will have got uh, the, the Commander Factory, Sugar Factory working. And by February next year? This, this is, this is the, the target that we have. Do we have raw material? We, they've made arrangements now to supply the factory with the, with the raw material. How sustainable is that, Mr. President? It's going to be sustainable. If the factory is, go if the, the factory is going to start working, it has to be sustainable. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> when you come back to it and you understand how it is mm -hmm. that the poor planning continues to be an albatross around our neck, the question you're asking. Your roof how and your sustainable Yes, how sustainable? It? How sustainable is it? Because the initial planning never properly incorporated raw material supplies into the project. Because if that had been so, we would not be in this discussion today. But the arrangements have been. We're talking about roads. Yeah. There's so many examples. When you talk about ongoing projects, Mm -hmm. Many of the roads that uh, allegedly we have stalled had no development at all before I came into office. Really? I can give you several. The flyover over the motorway from Flower Pot. Mm -hmm. Physical progress at the time I came to power was, I came to office, was 0%. Today it's about 25% movement. There was no development whatsoever. 
a name, a concept in the air. You're looking at um, the Bogatanga Boko Polimakum Road. Mm -hmm. Physical progress as of December 2016, 0%. Today, it's nearly 40%, the, the development of it. There are several other examples. The Ketakrachik Mandai Nyangpali Road, 9% development at the time when I came into office. is now 98% complete. Um, you're talking about the Kansar Wurudu Bypass. Yes. Phase 3. Physical progress as of 20 December 2016, 10%. Today is 97% virtually complete. Um, you talk about the whole main road in the center, the dualization process of the whole. I came to meet physical process, progress at 8%. Today, we're talking 50%, the, the, the development. The Eastern Corridor Road, lots five and six, which have been the subject of a lot of discussion. When we came in, the physical progress there was 55%. Today, it is 78%. In Quanta, Dambai Road, the reconstruction. Okay, it's in Corridor Original. No. Okay, in Quanta, it's in the No, separate. 6.85% mm. was the, the rate of physical progress at the time when we, had, we came in. Today, it's 61%. I mean, there's several such examples which shows you that the, alleg the allegation that we are uh, have abandoned the road projects that we came to have is uh, it's, it's difficult. How, how about the e-blocks? Many of them. Many of them. I can. I think I'll, 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 I'll find an opportunity to send you that many of them are being worked on across the country. Let me just take one, Mr. President. The one in Aflao where the chief himself has complained. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm an education minister up to February. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm an education minister. Ultimatum. So And Then I'll be catching. Maybe out of out of frustration, maybe Okasa. As much as possible, I've given you these examples to let you see that on the contrary, despite the propaganda, because one of the things that. Uh, um, uh, we, I, I suspect there's a deficit on our part is our ability to counter the propaganda. The propaganda takes over the reality of so many aspects of our national life. It's a pity, but we will, we'll, we will continue. Is it not because you have a weak communications team? I don't want to think of it. I think You've been accused of that. Say yes. MPP, more communication, you're poor, I you're weak. I you're doing good, but nobody's hearing about it. Uh, but people are feeling it. The people in the various areas of life are feeling it, are, are, are responding to it. Would you improve on your communications team? Can you, what, what aspect of national life can you not improve? Mm. What aspect of uh, political uh, engagement can you not improve? You can improve it. But um, at the same time, too, virulent propaganda has its own power. And that is, mm -hmm. that is the phenomenon that my government has been facing. So. Uh, we're talking about the hospitals. Yes. is another area where I'm alleged to have abandoned the hospitals. The Eurojet project. Mm -hmm. It's presented as if it was a project initiated by the Mahama government. It is mm -hmm. not true. The Eurojet project was initiated by the Kufo administration. Before the, uh, President Kufo left office, that mm -hmm. whole project was on, had, had begun. The question we have to ask ourselves, the eight years of NDC rule mm -hmm. saw no progress whatsoever on these hospitals. Whether you're talking about WA, the, the East uh, Municipal Hospital, Trifo Prasso, all these ones in Soko, all the developments that have taken place in the hosp these hospitals took place in my time. They, they say so, the contractors say so when these co the hospitals, uh, the ones that have been commissioned, like uh, the Upper West Regional Hospital, the Ga East Municipal Hospital, 
the Trifo Prasso, the Tepa, and, so and Soko, all these hospitals when they're completed. Mm -hmm. Listen to the contractors, they'll tell you that for several years they were unable to comp to, to, to do any work. Even That's though it right. began under President Kufour? Although even though it began under Kufour, and then it is in my time that the funds and the commitment has been, have been put together to allow these projects to be completed. There are several of them. And as we're speaking now, uh, the 250-bed ho regional hospital in Kumasi in Syria, I was there. I was there. That's what something 95% complete. And the commitment that has been made is that by December, early January, the hospital is going to be... Uh, we now have a problem of uh, the supply of the utilities to the hospital, water, uh, the, the ro uh, road access, uh, electricity. But the hospital substantially, the civil works for the building of the hospital have now been complete. We have the same phenomenon in Konowo. It's a 60-bed hospital. It's virtually 95% complete as we speak. And we're looking also for that to be also completed at the end of, of, of the month. So when you're looking at all these examples, you, you wonder how come people have the courage to come forward to say, to deny the reality. But then I've noticed that that is the stock in trade of my opposition, um, dealing in facts that are not there, but screaming it so loud that the, uh, the person who doesn't take care will, be, will begin to think that oh, these must be facts, otherwise why are they being said? But it is also part of, 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 of negative propaganda. You repeat an untruth several times. Ultimately, hopefully, it'll, it'll be it will sink. Truth, it will sink. Well, maybe because also you're not, you're not telling your story. Your communication team is not telling well, your story enough. Maybe they should up their game. And uh, probably it will sink the propaganda. But, Mr. President, not that... The propaganda was not able to, to, sink, to sink my electoral chances. <laughs> well, uh, me, me say, then, I, I'm out to my own do. Oh, yes, I'm out to my own 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 Which shows you that the propaganda in itself it, it cannot obliterate the reality and the facts. And at the end of the day, maybe, sir, a bus a master communicator to someone. Me wa me 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 Ebia ya be 20 na ya disikani na kwa shwa ya ni ani kakaka but ye ye ni na no ebia ni ni ska we are spreading ourselves too thin the capacity the capacity within the public sector joined up with the private sector is there to carry out the project hmm. I don't have any doubt about it and the people who are, who are being mobilized here by be age mother so very much on point across the country the 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 the, the, the uh, the, the processes for uh, the development of these hospitals are ongoing. We made a commitment that by the end of next year, these hospitals will be in place. And I'm, conf I'm confident from what I've seen of the preparation. We're, we're not biting more than we can chew? I don't believe so. I think that it will be a big achievement. And I think it will also be an achievement which will give confidence to our people that we're capable of large-scale infrastructural projects, we and ends. All the people involved, but some of the contractors will have a foreign content, uh, but the professionals who are manning this, architects, um, uh, uh, surveyors, uh, uh, all of them. Mr. President, don't you think that your enthusiasm, energy and drive when it comes to Agenda 111 is probably bigger than the reality on the ground? I don't believe so. You don't think so? I don't think so. There are one or two places where we're having problems predictably. And I don't, uh, it is, it's part of uh, the issues that uh, we factored in about land acquisition and land rights. Mm -hmm. Those are inevitable aspects in, the, in our country with its, uh, the land tenure system that it has. But overall, um, and I believe that of the 111, uh, something like 88 or 89 are uh, going. There are a handful 
I have the actual clearing of sites and putting in the, uh, uh, the basic foundations are already started. The whole thing has been divided into groups. Mm -hmm. Different groups are responsible, both as architects, as consultants, as and contractors, for particular group lots of, of the hospital. Mm -hmm. So it isn't as if it is one particular contractor or one group of architects who are doing in the mall. On the contrary, we're mobilizing across a broad front and bringing together a lot of skills and expertise together to do the project. And I think that this is the kind of project that should be done in this way. Yeah, because it's always difficult. Why, why does somebody have and somebody doesn't? Now, this thing, what happened was when the COVID, at the big, very beginning, when we didn't know exactly the trajectory of the hospital, of, of the COVID, mm -hmm. was when I asked for an audit to be conducted as to where the health sites and uh, in the country were. That's when came this information, the initial information that there were 88 districts in Ghana that they didn't have any district hospitals. I am Shishepa. I got frightened. Hmm. So that if this uh, 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 disease is the national, the global and national uh, perspective that there are to it and that there are nearly 90 districts out of the 200 odd dis 60 districts that don't have access to a district hospital. It means that the people in those areas, if this disease spreads to them, are truly threatened. And when the, 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 the result of the order was brought to me, to be honest, I, my heart was really, really thumping away. I got scared. I said, hey, this disease is this um, uh, pervasive uh, pandemic, which we are told it is. Fortunately, first of all, it didn't turn out to be the case. The pandemic continued to be focused on our two major uh, urban uh, uh, concentrations. Thank you, Nikumasi in Kumasi, even though the other parts which also caught it. Uh, but nevertheless, what it did to me was to say that whatever be the case, we have to rectify the situation and then strengthen our healthcare system across the nation. We can't have, it's like the schooling. We can't have a situation whereby some places have and other places don't have. It's not good for the morale of our country. But it's if you can't afford it, so you can swap. Well, well, we have to be. We have to. We have to be creative. This is what we've been doing. We're trying to. Uh, we're. 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 We're finding ways and means to do it. We have to do it. Some of these things have to be done. And as far as the agenda one 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 is concerned, very, 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 very thorough uh, investigations have been undertaken by the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Health, the government system in general to find a way to do it. The monies for the mobilization are already in the place so that the beginning can be financed and, in, and, and, uh, and arrangements have been made to make sure that the contractors get paid as they do their work. It can be done. Mr. We simplified <coughs> a lot of things. We have got um, uniform designs. Uh -huh. We've also agreed on the bill of quantities uniform across the country so that you can also have uniform prices uh, and uh, transaction values all those things have been centralized and and, and clarified so um, the possibility of being able then to do the work is very strong we will do it i think about I'll be back here next year. I think Chaba, we are sure say I feel be in Chaba. I'll be back next year. You beat me near was our hospital. I'll be back next year. I'll be back next year. Now I don't know a bit more who said they may can Papa so hard to have Papa so and yet I do guy guy, I do show boy and yeah man over. I don't know, sir. I do guy guy, I do show boy and chase a meeting. I've been a banner saying that keep coast and come on could pay I made a mistake. Let me just confess it. I made a mistake. You did? I, yeah, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Um, 
in, in looking at the uh, in, in, in the manifesto, and I tried to do that before I, I go. I saw one page which talked about a landing site. I didn't go further to see. But in any event, even with the mistake, I think still we have to rethink a lot of things. We can't have a, a harbor in Almina. We have a harbor in Almina, which is being developed right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Takrani Almina. Then we have another one projected for Cape Coast before we go further down the road. Um, I, I think some rethinking has to go on for us to be able to find what is the, the value for money uh, arrangements that were. But it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a mistake. And I have to apologize to the people of Cape Coast and the Central Region for that mistake. But presidents are human. After all. Uh, after all. <laughs> They're not Superman. They make, they make mistakes. Well, so that settles it for now. I'm sure that we'll move on. Let, let's look at corruption quickly and then you can go on your tour. Because Mr. Sakra for Swinyabri, regional minister, Wabona Basui, Mitima and the Ohese, Okanuma Banyan Fioni, Anake, Okaleba. Mr. President, corruption. Africa, Ghana, uh, in Simbia Ba, Efa, Wabai Hong, Bost contaminated fuel, missing excavators. Contracts for sale, I will PPA, uh, NYA, Sputnik vaccines, especially with COVID. If you say COVID, you can't have a chop chop. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Yes, this is why I'm clearing agent, respectfully. I'm not lightly. Say why I'm clearing agent. You can't do it. I'm not clearing agent. I think that is the first thing. I'm not clearing agent. There's not one single incident right from the very beginning. Uh, Parliament talked about uh, 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 Alan Chamate, I told cash for seats, uh, cash for seats. But uh, Jaco tried to influence his, his outcome mm -hmm. right through by uh, accusations that were leveled all the way through mm -hmm. up to now. Each one of the allegations that are made are investigated by the state institutions. There's mm -hmm. not one. I cannot conduct the investigation. You cannot con conduct the investigations f from Jubilee House. Mm -hmm. The ones who can conduct the inv investigations are the, are the institutions on the ground, whether it is the police, the CID, in some cases the parliament has those investigative powers, a Yoko. These are the institutions that carry out these uh, 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 investigations and then produce a report. And it is on the basis of their reports that I act. So if they, if they go, because it's very easy. I mean, one of the, one of the things is uh, 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 people in public office. It is extremely easy mm -hmm. to level the accusation of corruption. For instance, a lot of business people are very quick to do it. Two or three companies are, are vying for a contract. They, they go through a tender process, and your company gets it. And Eugenian's company doesn't get it. You hear Eugenian say, "Oh, uh, uh, mm. it's corruption." Yeah. You hear a lot of that in, in our system. I'm not saying that that is the only source, but something like that you investigate it, and you f see whether the proper procedures were applied. And if so, the decision making in the selection was correct, and 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 you operate on that. I am not the clearing agent. There's not one single one of these allegations that were made where I did the clearing. I announced the results. Yes, I announced the result, and that is my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because in many cases, the investigations were initiated by me. Uh, if, if 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 my attitude was to condone and. Uh, 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 push it under the car, uh, under the table, hide it under the carpet. Why would I even begin the investigative process? The reference of my deputy chief of staff to CID was made by me. I don't remember the last time the president in this country did that. I made the reference that the conduct that was being. Uh, stigmatized should be investigated by the state agencies. Unfortunately, the confidence that we should have in our own state agency sometimes is not there. And that is a, a, a whole matter that we can go into, but I don't think we have the time hmm. to do that. 
So when they work, people will assume that somehow or other they have been influenced. It isn't the case. But when, when the evidence is, is there, we, can, we have to act on it. How about PPA, boss, other places too? You say, um, you say, on your own, National Youth Authority, incident says, you see. But then he was investigated. Mm, but he was investigated. Yeah, but I don't know the result. The result was that. So, it's okay because we're doing account to me, and baby, free, and it's a. It drew us and called baby, baby. The matter was referred. To mm -hmm. the, I believe it was referred to the, to the special prosecutor. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Mm -hmm. yeah, but when you make these references, the matter comes out of my hands. Mm -hmm. How they, how a reference, for instance, the special prosecutor, how it is dealt with after that is not a matter for me. But the investigation, the investigative exercise has to go on. And that is what I have insisted on. And if the results come uh -huh. that there is, in fact, no substance to the allegations, and it's my duty, just as it's important to hold people to high standards in public conduct, it's also equally important that allegations which are without substance should not be used to stigmatize public officials. Uh -huh. If there is substance in it, fair enough. If there isn't, it shouldn't be allowed to go forward. And it, to that extent, in many of these cases where the allegations are proved to be valueless, that I've announced that they are valueless, that I'm being accused of being a clearing agent. <laughs> well, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I'm being fair. One of your I'm biggest legacies, I'm seeing Frank Kyle, a office of the special prosecutor. Yeah, car corruption in that, and no Abba Mitrim. New D. Kambe, you know, you're Titan Hun Sembibi, you know, they call it Fufro Abba. Uh, what's your boy? Say the new special prosecutor, Kisia Jabeng, who would GDA. Say ubit me a pija sa office na konenim. Um previous one can say a candy sika semi idea no um uh, one, one papa. U new special prosecutor are you resourcing him enough? Yeah dear uh nyamos your bear wa can they nyama be brief reviving a controversy with the old special prosecutor. But I think there's enough evidence to show that he was adequately resourced. Mm. Yeah, and I, there's really, as I say, don't want to go into that matter again. He was adequately resourced. Yeah, okay. And as far as this one is concerned also, I'm satisfied that the the process of, 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 of giving him the wherewithal to be able to do his work is very, very, very much on and that he would do. These things, like all of us, when you are appointed to public office, to some extent, it's a leap in the dark. Yeah. It is, uh, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Mm -hmm. So we will see with the new special prosecutor to what extent uh, we can count on him to live up to the responsibilities of his mandate. Mm. And I'm confident. I think that, we, that um, the, attorney, the, the attorney general made a good reference to me. I acted on that reference. Unfortunately, when he went to parliament, mm -hmm. uh, the, the public scrutiny that goes, that accompanies parliamentary approval processes, I think indicated to the country the quality uh, and the nature of the person who had been appointed to this. Let us then uh, rest our case for the time being and see from his deeds, mm -hmm. not from his words, whether he's up to the responsibility. Well, one of the reasons why I'm asking this is he sat here, graciously gave me an interview, and what can you more pursue in a forensic lab, cyber lab? You know, Sanya, many nights in a me, besides a idea, Obenya, who are candidate, yeah, Juma. Every effort is being made, every effort is being made mm. to make sure that, uh, uh, that in reality he's capable of doing the work. Wrapping up, Mr. President, um. Three years from now, four years from now, now I'm ready to ask you. Someone who came to work very hard for the people of Ghana. Somebody in whose period uh, the, the system of governance that we are committed to, democratic governance, was strengthened, deepened. Um, somebody who made a diff uh, uh, significant uh, impact on the, the, the development, especially of our national economy, mm. and that you can compare the, 
the data at the beginning of my mandate and at the end of my mandate to see that there has been a significant improvement, enhancement in the living standards of our people and the quality of life to which they expected. Um, and who generally came to make uh, a serious contribution yeah. to, to Ghana's development. That is how I would like to be remembered. Apart from Ado Showboy, and Ado Prima, and Ado Prima, Ado Gagai. That is how I would like to be remembered. One That's thing you'd also be remembered for, Mr. President, is your contribution to the law in this country. Bano Emre Nimun Semwa Debia Mafobodi Adekahu. Omo Omo Isuya Lobeka Se Okisi Sawa Yen Nipa Bibi Isuya Dene. Ope Ni Ghana School of Law Nkomo Yi Ayajin Sem. Four hundred and ninety nine of them. I'm as you say. I say Ni Oye Yomo No and Fata. There's serious discussion going on in the. Yes, who could be a or Kate saw there were UPSC say expansion project to be. Unfortunately, Yasuma reporters are coho. Okay, so the video, but you will be on the Oh, seriously. Yeah, we'll be on the phone. Okay. Until you say so, that we'll cut to UPS. We'll be on him. Say, we'll now be here. Until you be here, no. They've done nothing. We'll see. And uh, I'm a sad problem. But 499 of them, Mr. President, we'll they see. want to be the like you, like others. I myself, I, I think that the idea of more and more lawyers in the system is good for the health of the nation. We have a I uh, want well, a country that is governed by the rule of law. Yeah. It means we, we need to have lawyers in virtually all aspects of our national life, mm -hmm. guiding the development of the country so that the rule of law really makes sense. It's, uh, there are, as always in these matters, many, many complex issues that have to be determined, and the conversation is ongoing. And I'm hoping that soon rather than later, a solution is going to be found. Everybody seems to think that you should be able to give the solution, primarily because okay. of the fact that you are a lawyer, one of Ghana's most celebrated lawyers. Now you're president, and uh, wow, profession, and as oh, I and year on and I year, think on. it's a decent, it's a reasonable expectation. I'll not run away from it. I think it's a reasonable expectation uh, to see that this is the, the, a good moment for these matters to be resolved. And um, all I can say is that, God willing, by the time I come back here the next the next year, substantial progress will have been made in trying to to deal with this. <laughs> so, what happens to the four nine nine right now? Well, for the time being, uh, the, the, there's there's no space in the law school for them. This is the problem. So, uh, there are others. There are several others before them who have, who, fall, who unfortunately fell into the same pit. It may be that this 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 group have been decided to be more vocal than their predecessors. Mr. President, you're being right. very honest, which isn't what we hear from the Ghana School of Law people. Um, what can I say, Mrs. Sia? There's no space. Inti ada inti no mudjini pano broso sairi nefi omode sadi ni na bechi tiri ni na yako. Yeah, but the point is that what is it? How are you going to? Are you going to have a pre-selection as to who's entitled to take the exam? You can't Good do credit. that. Mm. You could only um, uh, operate uh, on some sort of situation whereby the first X or something from the from the numbers. I mean, what, uh, are the ones who are admitted. It's it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the what the, the lawyers and the law profession can uh, appreciate mm -hmm. is the popularity of the profession. Yes. Yes, and, and that is healthy for the growth of a law, the law-based state, that people are interested uh, in becoming lawyers. And now, uh, where the, 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 the matter has evolved, there's a need for us to find a solution to the numbers who are applying and their capacity to go to law school. And they, on these matters, there are examples elsewhere which... Um, we, we need to take into account our, our, situ, uh, our situation. We began with certain institutional arrangements that mm -hmm. we copied largely from, uh, from, 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 from the British because it is after all their system of law that substantially we, are, we have adopted and incorporated into our uh, Ghanaian legal system. Uh, but 
there are other examples of how the training of lawyers should take place. And I think that it's now being looked at in, in great detail. And hopefully a solution is going to be found. It's unfortunate. Um, I, I cannot be, pretend that uh, this is a, a happy co coincidence for me at all. On the contrary, I'm, I'm very disturbed by it. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm hoping that um, soon the cooperation of the, the, the various stakeholders, the General Legal Counsel, the Chief Justice himself, uh, Attorney General, myself, we will all will find a, a solution to, 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 this, to this situation. President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanadu Dankwa Kufuado. And uh, Mr. President, as I mentioned earlier, um, I'd appreciate it if the UPSA sword you cut um you let somebody look at it uh, would appreciate that very much president ekwa probo ewan crying ha agbogloshi ajen kutuku adenta pon katamansu areas na your reporter nana in tree will be on the trail into you know your news bulletins near the nana she does a very good job by the way well we gave you a good girl yeah she does a very good she's been going around with me for three what about four five years man. more than that before and 2016 even in, even in opposition she yes. was following us and she's She's uh, she's very dogged, very serious. A boy, modding wa. A boy, modding. A boy, modding wa. Na na uba modding, uba modding. Mr. President, baby, okay. What are you telling them? What are you looking for? What are you looking out for? Oh, quite probably in crime for. Then I, then I. The, the same thing is that I've done everywhere else. First mm. of all, to see uh, the various projects. Uh, road infrastructure, schools, hospitals. Mm -hmm. How far? Uh, what what are their problems and the response of people to them um, which then helps shape um, the conversation of the government and its its policy direction uh -huh. um, I also go to thank them for their vote unfortunately great our crown 2020 was not what <laughs> we had hoped for. We lost several seats here, I think seven wow. altogether. Mm -hmm. And uh, did, not, did not win the majority here. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, we had a substantial vote here. Mm -hmm. So it's important that I also thank them for the expression of confidence in us. Even people who lost the election are going around thanking people. <laughs> 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 How much more me? So, <laughs> uh, so, uh, 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 I did, so these are these are, these are uh, the, the the approaches that I have to my talk. I see. Okay, me me that she was. Me, 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 me that she was. She, how many people? But only Papa V. I can't go. Oh, my God, state final. I I think that that I'll take it. That that is. Uh, 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 a statement made in jest. <laughs> oh, Papa V, Papa V. Oh, how is this? It's a pity. It's a pity. It's a pity. Finally, finally, Sam. LGBTQI plus 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 plus. Any thoughts on it? It's in the Parliament. Mm -hmm. It's in the Parliament. It's a private members' bill. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, uh, we've been fighting for many, many, for a long time. The opportunity for private members also to sponsor bills in Parliament. I believe this is the first that is being sponsored under this opening that is being given. The parliament is looking at it. And we'll let, let's see how the, the process develops. Do you feel pressured with the discussions going no, around? No, I can't feel pressured. The, 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 we're talking about public opinion. We're talking about uh, legitimate processes that are being used. What I would hope for is that the debate itself would, would, would be civil. Yeah and that we would recognize the need for us to be tolerant and uh, of each other, uh, even when there are opposing views. I was, for instance, impressed by the intervention of some very um, renowned and uh, uh, well-positioned people within the civil society sectors of our country coming forward to express their views on the matter. Um, I think that it is it, it, it will be a credit to get in democracy if this matter is handled uh, in, 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 in the correct manner. 
Well, now I, I believe a reference will be made by the bill to the Constitutional and Legal Committee, mm -hmm. appropriately. That's the committee that looks at the issue of rights and constitutionality mm -hmm. of legislation in our, in, our, in, our, in our parliament. They will work. I, I hear that over 130 memoranda yes. have been submitted to them. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, anticipating that they will all be looked at closely before they can come to some consensus. Mm -hmm. uh, the chairman of the committee has spoken about what are his preoccupations, which I think are very legitimate to be satisfied about the constitutionality and the legality of what is being proposed. All these are part of the mix. Yeah. And um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the process will, will be conducted in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in an acceptable manner and at the end of the day, we will know what our legislature uh, will, will have to, uh, the position that it will take on, on, on the issue. Interesting thoughts, Mr. President. Thank you very much for your time. And um, you promised. So see you in a year. Okay. God